They're also using the subscripture from the Bible. Is it 2024 no, uh, no. evidence or is it is it the Bible evidence? Which one? Your guys' evidence is women can be men. I think one person here said, how, she, she was like, how do you even know I'm a woman? So this is your guys' liberal logic, first and foremost. I'm biblical, so yes, there are two genders. Yes, I was just playing with you. But based on your guys' logic, if you're not a Christian, you have no moral ground to stand on. You can't tell me I'm a woman. You can't tell me I'm a man. You have no clue I have a uterus. So let's bring the definition of what murder is first, right? Murder, premeditated, unlawful, taking of innocent life. Okay, and right here it says forgiveness for murder can be found in Jesus Christ alone. So yeah. you believe that Jesus Christ is the only person that can regulate abortion. Um, no, who can save our sins? Yeah, so save us from our sins. Can save our sins. So why do you believe that it's the government's decision to take away women's rights? So you're saying that God's the only one that should have to be able to do rights, right? He's the only one that can say you have the right to well, abort this, you have the right to that. So why is it that the government can choose to say who can't have an abortion? You're saying that it's murder, but how is it essentially murder if it's causing more harm? This is based off of a belief that Jesus is the one that can say that. But what evidence can you show us to say that Jesus said that? Because any Bible has been Bible. changed throughout. Okay, and well, what we thou shalt not murder. Wait, 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 so wait, one second, one second. Really Your source is the Bible, correct? Uh, a big part of it, yes. Okay, and which, and which, which, which part of the Bible? What, what edition of the Bible? What, what year of the Bible? Because has it not been transcended? It's been changed right there, through translation out, years after years after years. So, what proof can you tell me that God Himself? God himself came down and said in that Bible that you believe so wholeheartedly that you're willing to deny my rights, deny my rights off of a manuscript. So which Bible? Which Bible? Anyone. What edition? Uh, I read the New King James, but most Bibles are going to have an Exodus, thou shalt not murder. Okay, yet. and can you can you prove the validity of this Bible? Yeah, it's a, it's a very different topic, but if you want to, we can go down that theology. No, I, I believe in Christ. Don't get me wrong. I believe so in why, Christ. Why, 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 I also you're, believe you're, in autonomy over Christ because you're believing off of something that's Fictional, fictional. It's not even a way to prove we got, it. We got a lot of Brother, people here. Let's go. Let's go. It, Jesus is Lord. Not to be offended. Yeah, yeah. Because how can you, as a man who can't even lady, talk, lady, lady, if you're just gonna yell at me, I'm gonna ignore you. Okay, if you want, if you want to go back and forth, I'll keep okay, very simple. No. If you want to say, as a man who's never been raped, yeah. a man who who has maybe not gone. How do you know I haven't been raped though? Well, well that's a fallacy. You may have been raped, but you've never been raped to the point where you had a baby inside of you and you had to remember that every single day. And I can tell you that because men cannot carry children. Oh, a lot of people so disagree you, with you in 2024. Okay, well, in 20, so How do you even know I don't have a uterus? So, so now How do you know I'm even a man? Now you're saying it's 2024, you're using these rules, but then you're also using the subscripture from the Bible. Is it 2024 no, uh, no. evidence or is it is it the Bible evidence? Which one? Your guys' evidence is women can be men. I think one person here said, How, she, she was like, how do you even know I'm a woman? So this is your guys' liberal logic, first and foremost. I'm biblical, so yes, there are two genders. Yes, I was just playing with you. But based on your guys' logic, if you're not a Christian, you have no moral ground to stand on. You can't tell me I'm a woman. You can't tell me I'm a man. You have no clue I have a uterus. You see how like flawed your guys' logic is with liberalism? You have nothing. So you and if you, let, let, let me answer, let me answer. When you have no evidence, what is the definition of flawed? Flawed is a loophole in an argument. You have no evidence to support your argument. So if I have you tons. have more flawed than mine, oh, I, have you, tons. I just asked you, you evidence just been the Bible, and you haven't gave me any evidence of Bible. Name you've been, the transcript, lady, name oh, the edition. Oh man, you've been yelling the whole time. No, and first and foremost. Because it's like you don't hear when people don't talk. It's the, the logic they have, right? They're not even let you answer because they're subconsciously. Yeah, yeah. You know, Lucas. crowd, everyone needs to hear, project your voice. You're talking very silently. They can't because maybe because you're talking over me the whole time. Okay, so talk. Go ahead. Lay down your evidence. So let's go one question at a time. Go for it. One question. Give me the edition of the Bible, the year, who wrote it, and where there can be evidence to support it. For what? That, that abortion is murder? That, yes, that abortion is murder. All right, well, first off, you can use any translation you want. NIV. Which translation? I don't want any. Give me a specific. Uh, I read New King James. King James is good. Okay. NIV is fine, though. Which edition? Let me, you're going gonna, to gonna let me speak for about 30 seconds, okay? Or I'm just going to ignore you, okay? Yeah. If you search up right now the codexes, we have four uncial codexes, uh, Sinaiticus, uh, Vaticanus, Alexandrus, and Ephraim. Those line up with what we have today. New King James, King James, NIV, ESV. Are there some corrupt versions that man have created with their own hands? Absolutely. But those were not considered biblical. Like, no one would go buy that or use that, or no scholar would acknowledge that as a as a credible source. You see, so when I when I give the answer, then I get... 
no, but it's, you, you, oh, it's you, an exodus. You, yeah, thou shalt not murder. Jeremiah 1 5. Okay, I knew you while I formed you in the womb. Evidence to how the bird, because it's, it's not supposed to be scientific. Or are we not supposed to be able to physically see it? Because sure, we can, so we can do stats scientific. to show that we, women are physically suffering yeah. from abortion, I, but you have no stats to tell uh, me. Who says who? Lady, here. you weren't listening. I gave tons of stats. No, you did not. Your stats were on. I heard your stats. They were 0.001 bullshit. Um, and I just don't agree with it at all. So just because you don't agree, just because you don't agree, doesn't mean it's not true. I agree. You have you have the right. You have the right to be ignorant, and I respect your right. But I think when you come onto campus with this bullshit and this this fake up of assumptions and these fake accurate things that you have not shown, I think it's just offensive because it's like you sat out here with the microphone because you clearly wanted a response. So I'm glad that you got one. If you want stats, I can give it to you. At night, and I God forbid that it's your mother, your sister, your girlfriend, or anyone that you love who's been raped or hurt. If you ever have one, anyway. Zero arguments made, guys. That's liberalism for you right there. My two cents. So you said that miscarriages weren't murder, but according no, miscarriages are not murder. No. So according to Planned Parenthood, Cleveland Clinic, and Her Smart Choice, it says miscarriage is when you lose a pregnancy before the 20th week of pregnancy. Yeah. The medical term for miscarriage is spontaneous abortion. abortion. Yes. So that is technically an abortion. That's the term it's called, but it's not murder because the child because the child is already dead, lady. <laughs> That's murderous, unjustified, unlawful taking of life. The child is dead. Term. You're using an umbrella term. Yeah. So you're you can classify it under. So then you know what? If you want to go more specific, this is great. Search up is a miscarriage murder. Search that up. Search up Cook. free school, actually. Free education. Real quick, what do you study? Or what did you study? I can't really get a clue. I actually didn't go to college. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. It makes sense. You guys got cooked. You had zero arguments. What do you, you mean it makes sense? You come on campus. May I just throw in my two cents? You come on campus. It has been proven by uh, the Electoral College. This is awesome. Canadian wow. stats hey, that Jesus is Lord, guys. Everyone repent. Follow Christ. That's the main reason. I want you all to become born again. We got Trump now, 2024. Amen. A woman's voice. A man limiting out a woman's voice. Oh, what did that lady do to me? Oh, goodness gracious. She was... That was let's... not my business. I'm here to talk to you. Yeah, go for it. I'm saying yep. you're coming on campus. Yep. A Amen. A lot of these people are highly educated, right? Yeah. No, I wouldn't say so. No, none of you guys really were, to oh, be honest. <laughs> you guys really aren't that smart, to be honest. Yeah, I believe college because is a scam, I'll be honest. We choose science, we choose evidence yeah. over... Which you, you've given no evidence. I, okay. I just proved okay. Okay. okay, let's go back to the conversation that you, you've been avoiding, where what is life? I have the definition of scientifically in biology what life is defined as, and I want you, with your mediocre education, yeah. as it clearly shows, yeah. to define what life is. I would say biblically, life is when the soul biblically, enters the body. I do not give a fuck. Scientifically, what is life? Yeah, I would say that's when life is. Life is, well, if we know that life begins at fertilization, that's when there's new human, okay, there's new unique human DNA, 23 chromosomes from the father, 23 from the mother. I would also say that's when the soul enters, but if you don't believe in the soul, then it's when there's new unique human DNA. I would say that you are completely wrong. So I'm going to give you the definition and the criteria that something needs to have to count as life. It needs to have an organismic state, which means that it can grow, metabolize, reproduce, and respond to stimuli. Yep. It can. It needs to have a, it like have a system um, and can perform functions such yep. as eating, breathing, mm, moving. Yeah. Yeah. That's not metabolism. Um, well, of course it is. E eating, eating is metabolism. Yes, that's that's using your metabolism. Metabolism. Oh my God. Eating is it not using your metabolism. Shows you have not. Eating, guys, is not using your metabolism. What? God bless, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're funny. Um, but just like with the. the so so the, the zygote would but, be able to but, do all that. Yes, absolutely. No, it wouldn't be able oh, absolutely. to eat. It would not. The be, zygote, as it begins it to will, mature, can do every single one of those things. Be. Absolutely. Actually, what defines life would be what she is saying. So you have to have metabolism. You have to be able to use and produce, like produce, use energy, yeah. be able to actually function. Yeah. Uh, you need to be able to reproduce, yeah. which Zygo cannot do. Yeah. You need. To Would you believe though that it has the potential to? Like if you it don't kill it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. At that point, point it the cannot. To do it's anything is like one cell, single cell organisms. Yeah. So that actually potential doesn't mean anything if you're looking at what's actually life. So what's actually life has to follow all these criteria. And viruses actually are more alive than fetuses, if you're talking yeah. about with those. So would you disagree with all 90, 96% of biologists that say that life begins at fertilization? So they're all wrong? I am actually am a biology student, and life does not begin right as fertilization, because in that So case, they're all wrong? They don't all say that, actually. Like, Google it right now. When does life begin scientifically? It will say fertilization. I am no. just defining life for you. No? And Google's just, wrong? Okay. No, and you're wrong. with these definitions, which... I literally learned this in third grade. I don't know how you're like unfamiliar with these. Yeah. With these criteria, 
a zygote does not fit into this. So just so. with your logic, right? You said it has to be able to like uh, produce, right? Offspring. Yeah. A one-year-old can't it's give not, a baby either. It's, it's not, the exact same it has argument. Has the reproductive system that it will allow it to do that? Not at the moment. Except a, it does. a one. Ex oh, but hold up. You just said yes. this is a double standard. You said oh, potential doesn't matter, but you're saying in the case of the one-year-old, now potential does matter. No, you're being a hypocrite. Uh, you need to be able to reproduce, yep. which zygote cannot do. Potential doesn't mean anything if you're looking at what's actually life. It's not potential though, because it has the reproductive system that has the ability to do that. A one-year-old yeah, can have a child. Wait, that doesn't that matter whether it has the reproductive okay. system. There, that double right, standard, right, guys, the right there. The difference between a one-year-old and a zygote Good. is that if you leave the one-year-old on its own, yeah. it might like have its food and everything, but... If I leave a one-year-old, it's going to die. If I, leave, if I leave a one-year-old on the ground that's going to die? How long you leave the, the one-year-old? Okay, can you stop? That's why we have neglect you laws. Just you guys are getting cooked, man. Every standard you're giving me, I'm throwing oh it God, back to you and you have no answer. You're funny. Lady, you thought you, you were, so you said funny. you said you weren't even a woman and I'm delusional. Yeah. You guys came up to me. Not, you're going around asking You went up to other people. You came no, up to me No, no, no. Well, well I came to some people. I said, what do you guys think? up on a campus when you don't even go here. I don't need to go here. What did you do? Can you just stop? The Jesus is Lord, guys. The difference between... Amen. Keep going, man. If, if you're against abortion, I think you should get a vasectomy then. Yes! A vasectomy... Um, you know, if you're going to have an opinion on a woman's body, I'm allowed to have an opinion on a man's body. If you're allowed to have an opinion about mine, yeah, yeah. I'm allowed to have an opinion on yours. Okay, you can have an opinion. Go for it. Yeah, this... Yeah, what's your... You should get a vasectomy. I think people like you should not be allowed to reproduce. Oh, he's celibate by choice. Yes. <laughs> oh, by choice. Oh, by choice. Oh, I'm sure. Amen, guys. So Don't sure fornicate. Celibate by choice. <laughs> So the thing is, is with like ad hominem attacks, like they don't really, they don't really offer any substance. You can attack I'm the argument. I'm trying to offer you something, and you keep interrupting me. No, no, no so you've had zero arguments the whole time. You don't even let me finish. So oh, you've been you talking about. You don't let me finish. What's the argument? I was, the argument was that you, you didn't even let me respond go to the fact it, that you said, it. "What's the difference between one year and a fetus?" The yeah. difference is the potential that you discussed that the, the fetus has the potential. Yeah. If the fetus is literally taken out of the womb and leave, <laughs> left outside, it will die. It it will literally die. So will a one year old. You cannot. So will a one year old. As a one-year-old, cooked. No arguments. Next. It's, it's, are you stupid? If I leave a one-year-old on the floor and give it no substance, it's gonna it, survive. It can breathe. It can breathe. It can. It can eat. If, if it has. How, how can a one-year-old eat? But a fetus cannot do any of that. A one-year-old cannot There's feed it. There's not itself. a single the potential of the potential the the, the word that you keep using. For a one-year-old is so much more can, can, than for Can a one-year-old one breathe? Can a one-year-old yes, breathe? Yes, yes. Can a fetus that is born in the first trimester breathe by itself? Uh, born? A fetus? You mean, well, it would die, but no. So no. Okay. Okay, so it would die out of utero. Correct. That is so what you're is, saying. But is the argument then, like, if someone can breathe or not, that's if we know that they have life? No. If they are able to survive out of utero, which does include breathing, there are more things that encompass okay, that. Okay. If something cannot survive out of utero, and also does not have a conscious, which doesn't develop into the second trimester, by the way, and in Canada, abortions are only typically done... I think they're up in, until up nine months, for all nine months. No, they're not. Uh, no, they're not. Unless it's uh, an emergency. If it's an, an abortion at nine months, I'm sorry to break it to you, that's called a C-section. I agree. <laughs> yes, you would get a C-section. Yeah, no, 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 but not everyone... Not, no, no, no. Not everybody um, does do that. A lot of people do have abortions. Unless it's medically emergent, so unless it's medically an emergent, <laughs> trimesters are not done in Canada after the first trimester. And a baby does not develop a consciousness until the second trimester. Do you know what week it develops a consciousness? Um, in the second trimester. I know. Do you know about which week? Do you do you understand how trim yeah, I'm trimesters? Yeah, I'm. Yes, trimesters have many weeks. Yes, yeah, so so use your logic. So what week? I'm asking you. Out of that second trimester, which week would it be? Sixteenth. No, it's, it's about it's about, about twenty weeks. Like, so, so you're proving my point even more. So that's way. But I, I don't I don't believe consciousness like whether someone is conscious or not doesn't dictate whether they're human. Like there are people so, who are in a coma. So and let, let me answer. Let me answer. There are people right. If consciousness is your argument, what about all the people in comas who currently do not have a conscience? They're unconscious. Do we just kill them too? Yes. They, they, wow. Yeah. You guys hear that? I just like that's ridiculous. Is clinically brain guys, dead. everyone. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna keep. If I'm clinically brain dead, I do not want to be kept alive. But that's different. That's different, though. I'm not so talking about brain dead. Someone who just currently is unconscious. Like, let's say I get knocked out, right? Yeah. I'm still there, and I will have the potential if to you, absolutely get back up. I should be dead. Sure. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna come alive, sure. If your brain is dead, yeah. if you have the inability to think, period, mm -hmm. 
again? Did yeah. you say if you're brain dead, you have the be ability to come back to life? No, no, no. I'm okay. saying brain dead. You are clinically dead. Yes, because then if you're off the ventilator, your body will decompose. So then you I'm, I'm, I'm talking. So, I, so, yeah, so I said. So, so, so if a fetus, I personally have wouldn't. A fully no. Developed brain. Oh, okay. Isn't able to live by itself with that non-fully developed okay, brain. Go, 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 see, right. uh, seeing as uh, the scientific Bobby, approach here. doesn't seem to be working for you, I'd like to just... I've actually answered things. every single question here. You guys have flip-flopped <laughs> every single time. Like, you cooked, you cooked, you cooked, you cooked. You guys are just angry. I'll answer fun. calmly. Oh, I, I think I think we're right. You just me. said everyone is unconscious. Kill them. I'm not taking your brain advice. Dead. In terms Listen, of you, brain dead, you may have answered them, but then after they make their piece, you say that they have zero arguments. Anyways, that's not. They haven't given an argument, or I've debunked it. Okay. Every single one. Okay. What I'm here to say to you yeah. is, um, imagine you have a daughter. Yeah. And she's raped. Yeah, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. I I, I don't like. And that. she gets pregnant. Yeah. You expect her to keep that. We're not going to be here long, ma'am. Uh, that? That's all I have to say. Sorry, that's sorry, all say, I have to say. Uh, sorry, you say expect her to keep that child. If my daughter, absolutely, I wouldn't want her to kill it. No. I mean, now I again, she, now she has free will. Talking away from you, if you're going to expect. Oh, that's her. what the lady said at Charlie Kirk. You guys and are yeah, copying. Yeah, that's exactly. not very original. Yeah, exactly. You're going to expect your infant daughter to carry a baby from a rapist? Yeah. Something is mentally fucking wrong with you. And you do, do you know what percent of? I mean, rape is horrible. I think death penalty is the rapist. I'm all for that. I, I think that's absolutely horrible. So, so, sorry. Death penalty for rape. Wait, oh, 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 oh. What's the difference? Look at the food so you guys, man. That's ridiculous. Like we're, we're not going to be here long. I, I'm, I'm not pro-life. I'm not pro-life. I'm an abolitionist. Guys, thank you so much. Jesus is Lord. These are the fruits. None of them had an argument. We love you all. God bless, okay? All you bold men. Be bold, okay? I, I need you guys to ride out, man. All you guys, okay? I need, and you guys, you don't agree? Come on, man. None of you guys agree? No? I Keep it pushing, bro. Yo, yo, God, bless you, God bless you, okay? God bless you. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Keep pushing, bro. We need you. Yeah, thank you so much. God bless, okay? You guys be bold, man. Pro life or what? So we're considered abolitionists, which is not pro life. Pro life would be like. Because we believe if, if someone is uh, raped someone, you can back that up biblically with a death penalty. So I'm not pro life or abolitionists. A lot of pro lifers are actually pro choicers. Pro life gets nothing done. Unfortunately, it really doesn't. Oh, we can chat. Let's just kind of back out a little bit. Anyone who wants to chat with Jesus, come. Can I shake your hand? Yeah, man. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you. God bless you, okay? We need bold men out here, guys. I believe in Jesus all day, man. man. That's, that's... I was the one messaging you before. I don't know if you remember me. Wait. Oh, oh which one? About the, the parents? No, no. The no, no. Uh, I, was, I was messaging you to meet up with you before. Okay, dude. You I got a lot of... Mac before? Oh, yeah? I'm sure you get tons of messages, but... Yeah, yeah. I do, man. Well, thank you, man, for riding out, yeah, you know? No, of course. That guy tried to grab the sign, man. That was a pretty weak. <laughs> and he was wearing his little mask, too. These are the cowards, guys. I'm listening, sorry. What's the difference between I'll, I'll answer all your questions. Yeah, great, yeah, man. I'm going to have that same question because I don't Dude, know what to define yeah, myself I'm as. I'm a pro lifer. Same. Yeah, so, so, so they've been wrong? lied to. They've been lied, bro. It's very, it's very different. Pro lifers, unfortunately, what if I told you pro lifers actually kill a lot of babies like there was uh, I believe it was in Louisiana wow. a few years ago where they were going to put an abolitionist law where abortion would be criminalized and set and it would have happened but 70 pro-life organizations came in and said no we don't want this we want the mother to be able to have abortions pro-life is not what you think it is well, maybe those pro-life yeah right? unfortunately pro-life so what it is okay, is so I'll define answer, yeah. an abolitionist like I've never heard of you great great describe yourself and I can give you some chances an abolitionist is similar to like the uh, the 1700s with slavery they want to abolish right. it completely what pro-lifers do is they usually put a time on it they put exceptions they put maybe within the first yeah. trimester or second no, that's no, no. not a true pro-life a true pro-lifer would be an abolitionist. Then you're an abolitionist. You're not a pro-lifer. Okay, you're a pro -lifer. not. They're not pro-lifers. But that's what I'm saying. That okay, sure. is what sure, pro-life is. You guys are abolitionists. An abolitionist is to abolish abortion, whether it's a zygote or it's eight months old. It's like you can still have it if like the mother's life is at risk, which I see what you're saying. But well, we got to answer what that is because uh, a third trimester abortion would exactly it would yes yes so so then those are pro-lifers. We are abolitionists of abortion. Yeah, and it's, re it's really fair. growing. I'll give you guys the channel too. You guys will really like it. There's other channels. A great one you guys would like is called Abolitionist Rising. Very smart guy. Much smarter than mine. He's about like 50 years old. You would love him, bro. Okay. Really watch him. Write it down. I'll give you my channel too. And today was great. How you doing, man? Good. How are things with you? Well, they're okay now. I mean, I almost got assaulted. The sign almost snapped in half, you know, but we've, we've de-escalated. We've walked off now. A lot of good conversation here, you know, very... That's, that's, that's fine, but you're not able to break property, right? We live in Canada. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Keep up the work. I gotta get to class. Abolition. Uh, I'll, I'll, do you have your phone? I'll give you my channel. I'll give you my channel. Get out your phone.
the whole, that, that's the whole point. Thank, point. thank you, sir. You yeah. We live in Canada, right? That's the yeah. whole reason we're here. We have freedom of expression, freedom of religion. I have my charter to A, B, and C rights. Whoa! Let me read that. Abortion is a murder. Forgiveness for murder can be found in Jesus Christ. Amen. There's nothing offensive about that. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Amen. What was it? Yeah, yeah. Um, Christ. You would have that father, fatherly Absolutely. thing Absolutely. in your heart, which is hard that you have, which my I flesh, wouldn't. Right? Just like my flesh wants to fornicate. I've been celibate yeah. for four years. My flesh wants to fornicate, do all these things. Mm -hmm. It wants to go and party. It wants to live a more easy life. Do you think my flesh wanted to be out here when I almost got like assaulted? The guy took the sign. No, but God yeah, I wanted give to come in here, to bro. God does not give us a spirit of fear. We're commanded to do this. Mark sixteen fifteen. This is a Amen. command, dude, if you're a Christian. It's not about, oh, how do I feel? Amen. What do I want? Amen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. And when the Spirit, the Holy Spirit grows in you, bro, it keeps you calm. It keeps you centered, right? Blessed are those who are persecuted for my name's sake. So, yeah, I appreciate you, man. I pray for you, man. God bless I you, you, okay? wish for the best. Yeah, what's your name? Oh, yeah. Do you have YouTube? Uh, yeah, I just followed you. I, I oh, you got it? Okay. Something. I appreciate both of you guys, okay? And, all right, guys, that is it. That is the end of the video. Um, I don't know. I think we probably put this into many parts. But, anyways, guys, none of their arguments hit. It was just emotion-based, and that's the problem with a lot of liberalism, unfortunately, especially women. We love them, but it's just yelling, zero arguments. Um, I answered every single one, and uh, it's just really sad. You know, They're not there for free speech. They're not there for a discussion. They are there just to yell at you, to bully you. And we stayed put, guys, and then near the end, there was a guy who literally wrapped up his face in that, like, Muslim cloth, Palestine cloth, and he tried to grab the sign and he failed miserably. Like the signs actually even looks better than it did before. It's like mint. And uh, yeah, the security guard at the end, guys, they were looking, we were doing nothing wrong. We were just standing there. You have freedom of speech, guys. And the security guard was like, yeah, he's doing nothing wrong. So sorry, guys, keep kicking rocks. Be bold, guys. Use your, if you're in America, your First Amendment right. We're in Canada, so we have our charter of rights, uh, Section 2, A, B, and C, freedom of expression and religion, close enough. And just be bold in these end days, guys. Um, off camera, we had a good amount of subscribers or support, you know, and I'm telling you guys, God will always protect you. He'll send you some angels or people to really just ride out for you so be bold spread the gospel to all creation and i hope uh, this empowered you guys or at least you learned something that is it guys all my links are below if you want to work with me or support the ministry i appreciate you guys so much and oh final announcement guys i am going to dallas texas i officially booked my flight last night yesterday at the time of you watching this it's probably coming up soon i'm going first week of december we're meeting up with some good people more evangelism more preaching and just spreading the word especially now because trump is president the tides are changing those woke liberals they know they're losing the argument that's why they're freaking out and trying to get violent um god's on our side so god bless you guys have an amazing day check your next video till then much love peace